Um, guten Morgen, everybody. I, I don't normally make videos this early, but I just have to post this. It's just mind-boggling. Um, uh, I'm I subscribed to a channel called um, Vinyl Translators, and it's um, only for nerds. Um, stylist nerds, cartridge nerds like me. Um, I don't collect them or anything, but I'm just fascinated by them and always have been. And um, it, it, it's uh, this one cropped up this morning. I just have to talk about it. I'll do it in a minute. Um, this is, I absolutely adore this. Now, this is back in the day before there were cartridges or anything. Look at that. That's This is an Art Deco um original Art Deco box from the 20s or 30s, made in Australia, manufactured specially for Columbia Gramophones Australia, Limited, Sydney, New South Wales. I just adore this thing. It's just, it's a thing of absolute beauty. God, I love it. Um, they're just the needles. This is a, a HMV one, soft tone. Back in those days, you could get a choice. Soft tone was for, um, uh, I don't know, one was for sort of vocals, you know, or talking, and the other one was for music. I forget exactly what, but, uh, you, you know, it was sort of like, um, you know, designed for a certain sound. But uh, the little dog thing there. This is my original Stanton D D six eighty double E. Sorry, not D. My Stanton six eighty double E. Now I bought this stylus, which and cartridge in nineteen eighty, and. Installed it on my Technics SL Technics SL 1200 Mark II turntable, which I still have here sitting up here on my cabinet and still use. Um, I've only ever put one other cartridge in this in 40 years. I've only ever put one more cartridge in. This is the original, and I only ran it for uh, maybe a year or two. And for some reason, that's right, I moved to Canberra and um, from Sydney. And I went down there, and there was a hi fi shop down there. and I went in, in one day and they had um, another one of these for, on, uh, for sale. I think it was $90 for the cartridge and stylus. Now, that was probably a week's pay back then or, you know, half a week's pay. It was, you know, pretty expensive. But I thought, oh, I better get it. And I've had that in there ever since. You know, it's been in there for 35 years. <laughs> it just keeps going. Anyway... Now, to getting down to the nitty-gritty, vinyl translators, fantastic, highly recommended. There's no talking or anything. It's just pictures and, and writing and very old school. The What he, what what they showed on it today was um, from 1961, this was highly advanced um, cartridge turntable setup, a uh, cartridge style setup. Sorry, it's very early. It's, it's called the A-Static 45D Ceramic Phono Cartridge. Now, ceramic was all rage back then, you know. It, it has a, a distinct sound of its own. It's just, they sound good. Um, it could track at one gram. This is in 1961 when the average turntable was tracking at three, maybe four grams. It's amazing. This, this thing I've had track, tracking at... Um, one gram, you know, for nearly 40 years, uh, you know, that it's the less, the less force on the record, the less wear and tear, I guess. But I track, uh, yeah, this one. And if you, anyway, let's not get too, could track at one gram. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> it had to be taken off the market. Um, because they used a radioactive foil above the stylus tip. And the idea of that was it would suck up static, you know, and it was called the Alpha Ray Nuclear Foil. 
and it, and it says um, that it's the same. Remember those watches that had those, when you turn the light off, you can still read them with the green light because they were radioactive. It was similar to that. But these were removed off the market because, <laughs> I mean, you're probably getting cancer. You know, it's like Michael 45's putting on his um, Shallon Platten on his Einstein um, record player with, with the um, anti-static 45D ceramic phono cartridge and he's getting um, cancer in his fingers from the um, the cartridge. And, and I reckon they should have gone one step further than that. They should have, instead of a ceramic phono cartridge, they should have... Um, put the alpha ray nuclear foil um, on a asbestos um, cartridge. Now, you know, asbestos is um, highly cancerous and, uh, and it's very lightweight. I mean, I grew up in a house made of asbestos called Fibro in Australia. And um, so that would have been ultra lightweight um, and that could have reduced the, you know, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, an opportunity missed. If only Australia had gotten on with this earlier, we could have had our own industry of, um, you know, making fibro or asbestos um, cartridges for record players and using the alpha ray nuclear foil um, technology. It, it would have been a, oh, man. Oh, I wish I had one. Anyway, I'm all excited. I'm just a, can't help it. I'm nerdy about this shit.